Today's video is on the Callaway OptiFit Hosel and the various adjustments you can make. Jackie is here with me today to hit some shots and showcase all the different things you can do with a Callaway driver. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. Today we're talking about Callaway drivers, well and Fairy Woods, but uh, Callaway OptiFit Hosel. Um, on the drivers, last few series now of Callaway drivers have had this same hosel, and we're talking about the adjustments that you can make with these drivers. So, Jackie, as a master club fitter, obviously you work with this OptiFit hosel quite a bit. So, um, give me your thoughts on you know the various adjustments you can make here and kind of everything that Callaway is offering with this adjustable hosel. Yeah, I think when you're talking about being able to make you know loft adjustments is really mm -hmm. important, right? So going minus one, going plus two yeah. uh, in their OptiFit, you know, mm -hmm. adjustment system. And then, you know, being able to make it draw or fade yeah. is also a key feature. You know, with some adjustment houses and other manufacturers, you know, you can either go up or down and that's going to dictate whether it's closed or open. Right. So uh, with the nice part about Callaway is that you're able to do the loft adjustments while still being able to do, um, you know, whether it's open or closed. Yeah, exactly. And so that's one thing we're going to showcase today. We'll kind of move that loft a little bit, but I think we'll show that, you know, the, the face angle isn't really manipulated that much versus some of the, like you said, some other manufacturers where you're making that adjustment, but it's a loft and lie adjustment at yeah. the same time. So uh, that's an interesting one. But we've got, you know, we'll, we'll start with standard, you know, the standard 10 and a half degree head here, the Callaway Epic Max driver. And then we will go maybe go down in loft, go up in loft, and maybe also showcase that draw setting as well. Yep. Just to see how things are, you know, moved around a little bit in there. Um, but so Jackie, give me your take on, you know, you've been fitting customers into this. Um, do you, th are, are these types of adjustments, do you see big differences here? And is it something golfers should be taking advantage of? Oh yeah, we're, we should definitely see some, you know, difference in the adjustment pieces. Yeah. Uh, you know, the other part of the Epic Max, especially is that uh, weight setting mm -hmm. in the back too. Oh sure. Mm -hmm. So depending on what loft works best for you, you know, you can also make that adjustment in that weight so yeah. that it can help you hit hit more fairways. So. Exactly, exactly. Well, Jack, you ready to hit some tee shots here? Yeah, let's go. Off the toe. Might work though. Uh, okay, so Jackie, that was the neutral <coughs> standard setting. So uh, standard loft and then, you know, no fade or draw bias. It's just kind of the stock mm -hmm. setting. Um, and that's what we got. So from here now so like when you're fitting customers and do you have them first if they you know if you like the epic max head for example is it then you go base that off their shots here with the standard setting and then you make the adjustments after that well i think it kind of depends on if they're for it's their first driver that i'm having them hit yeah um typically like if this in my scenario here this is the first one i've hit yeah i would definitely do neutral standard yeah. Uh, with Callaway, kind of okay. see where they're at with that and then make adjustments okay. to, from there. Um, but, you know, if you're in a, a fitting and you're a couple in and you know what setting is probably going to be yeah. best, then, yeah, I mean, you're I'm not sure going to go through every yeah. single se setting. Because like, I'm sure you see those tendencies, right? Like if, for example, you were the customer here and you maybe hit, you're seeing what driver head you like best and you yep. hit two more and there's a, this tendency continues where that's all to yep. the right you might think, okay, well, I already know as a fitter, I'm gonna probably make this either a draw bias situation or make, you know, sliding weight to the heel or whatever the case might be, but you're thinking more draw bias. Yeah. Um, but so that's the neutral standard setting. So from there, let's look at these numbers quick because I wanted to see club speed 88, ball speed 126.7 on average, spin rate 23.25, 230.8 total. So. Let's uh, let's let's move let's move the loft a little bit here. Yep. Let's go down in loft one degree and see how things change. Oh, that was left. Oh, that's good though. That one should be good. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Is this a laser? Yep. So you're one thing that I've noticed here, Jackie, is you are have a really upward attack angle, which yeah. you're seeing the benefit from here with hitting a lower lofted driver. When you move that loft down one degree, 
that ball is really chasing out there and that spin is staying low, so it kind of rolls out. Wow, another good one. Off the, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, that one was kind of a miss it, but. So, Jackie went down and loft. Things straightened out for you a little bit, actually, which is interesting, because we didn't actually change the face angle. Um, he just puts a little bit better swings on it, but notice too, you hit your, well, two farthest ones right here and here. Yep. Um, average, you gained four yards total. Carry was pretty similar though, because you saw that spin drop mm -hmm. be it based on going down and loft. So um, that's interesting actually. I, we, you know, is that maybe just a swing tendency thing where we notice it straightened out a little bit for you? Yeah, I mean, first thing I noticed is that launch angle went down a little bit too. So 17 degrees. Right? Wait, that's yeah. just the one shot. Okay, so 16.2, sorry. On average, compared to 18.3, definitely notice that right away, that it's not going as high. And right. That launch is pretty good. And I think with the other one, it was just a little high. Mm -hmm. And I was catching them off the toe a little bit, which is why they're going right. So, I mean, mm -hmm. could it be just where I made contact? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, but. Can, let's see if we can get pull that up here. We'll go to, uh, the impact location of, we'll go here. Yep. So you're towards the toe with the standard neutral, or neutral yep. standard. And then here, a little bit closer to the center. Yeah. You know, so that's probably part of the reason some of those are missing right. Yeah. It's just the way you're catching it. But, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you look at the map here, you see that going a little bit left. But I think, like you said, the big difference in terms of the loft here, which isn't a surprise, you know, on this channel, we talk about how loft matters a ton. Yeah. Launch angle goes down, you know, you hit it. 11 feet lower. Yep. And then uh, your landing angle down is steep. But, and I mean, the whole thing, it, it's all, it lines up as it should. Yeah. So now what we can do is we'll go to the plus two. So this is gonna actually play from 10 and a half. So we just, the driver was just nine and a half, effectively, yep. right? Started at 10, 10 and a half, down nine and a half. Now we're gonna go up to 12 and a half. Yep. Oh yeah, right away, a higher launch. Also gonna lose ball speed probably. Yep. Okay, so we've got averages up here now. This is plus two, we, and we this is what you expect. You know, you, you, you increase the loft on a golf club and it's gonna not go as far. <laughs> That's pretty typical. <clears throat> Look at that spin rate when I said 2,700. Yeah, 2,700. Yeah. You nailed it. So. And, that, and that, that trend is matching up too, where like you only go down one in loft, it's probably not gonna be a huge spin difference, but you go yeah. up two, and then you see a bigger difference. Lose carry distance and lose total distance because it's you know, more loft. Um, and then I also wanna go to height here. So 90 feet, it's actually similar to the standard. So, but one thing to note, and this is how the th this, you know, why these adjustments are there, is yeah. for golfers that might be struggling with getting to ball, the ball into the air, for example. Move that loft up two degrees on your Callaway driver, and you're hitting it 10 feet higher in the air with, you know, 400 more RPM of spin. Right. Or maybe you hit it too high, right? Yep. You can drop it down in a loft in, uh, on the head, and you can decrease your spin, and you can hit it 10 feet lower if you need to. Yep. You know. So th that's why those options are there, and, and you know, I feel like there's a lot of golfers maybe don't take advantage of them or don't even really think of it, and they kind of default to you know, going to the driving range and beating some balls and trying to make a swing change, which mm -hmm. that could certainly benefit your game. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it, it, a lot of times it can be as simple as, hey, I'm gonna make an adjustment to my yeah. you know, OptiFit hosel here. Well, I think like when taking a look at these numbers, I honestly, let's try uh, draw mm -hmm. and then, so do draw uh, standard. Draw think, standard, okay. Yeah, because based off the numbers, if I can get the face to close a little bit, it should be. okay where we want. Minus one's just a little, little okay. low. So if we go to draw standard, that's gonna be overcorrect. That's fine though. Low draw. Oh, I think she did it. Well, so far the N minus one is the winner. Yeah, so that's what, you know, for you, the, the winner right now in the setting that you need is N minus one. And we talked about how that, your attack angle being so positive is yeah. probably the reason for that. Um, we started to see some more of that left kind of bias here with the draw setting, right? You got three over here left of center um, and they're comfortably left of center here. You had 
So, so a little bit more left with that minus one setting, uh, but not quite as far left here. Um, and so, you know, in, did you want to, you know, because now we're at a point where you could kind of, I almost want to ask you to fit yourself for yeah. the setting that you think is best. So we saw the minus one kind of go maybe the furthest for you. Um, it, is there any optimization there that, that you, to be had yet with the different settings that the driver offers? Because again, you can, as we talked about, you can manipulate that loft yeah. and kind of keep the face square, vice versa. So Well, right now I'd say N minus one, N minus one is probably definitely the setting that I want to stick to. Yeah. Um, the thing that I would probably do with Something this, you want to try maybe? Yeah, N minus one and then adjust the weight just a little bit. Oh, okay. On the head. Okay. But I mean, the numbers from the N minus one is, I mean, they're good, right? Yeah, so we can kind of stack these up. So highest ball speed was the neutral minus one. Also your highest match factor. Mm -hmm. If we go to distance wise, you're going to get your highest carry, your highest total. And if you look at the map, it's the straightest. Yeah. Um, so at least for you here. So I'm just going to put it a little bit more. So the last thing you're going to do here is you're going to adjust the weight yep. to the heel. Not all the way, about halfway between the middle and the heel. OK. Try to close the face even a little bit more, prevent that okay, right Okay, so we're going to go to miss. N minus one, and then we're going to go here. Uh, yeah. So, okay. so my goal, here, my goal here is to eliminate the right miss. Okay. Since for whatever reason, and okay, so some of this could be shaft related too. Yeah. Um, if it's too soft or you know, too stiff, whatever, that you could manipulate that with the shaft as well. Yeah. But just for, for the sake of the test, yeah, yeah. For for the test of just the adjustment okay. hosel. I'm going to try and get myself to close the face just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because you have had that tendency today, for whatever reason, with that setup to go a little right. So yeah. we'll see if maybe this can help with that. Is that going to draw back? Oh, yeah. Kind of that gear effect one. Yeah. Eh. No one hit the screen directly on the center line. Yeah, that's pretty good. Interesting. So here's our map, and here are the numbers. You did tighten that circle a little bit compared yeah. to the yellow. Now, interesting is that we move that weight in the heel. You kind of, you know, it, you're not going as far right. Like this one over here is out the farthest right of the yellow circle. Yep. Um, but you didn't also go as far left either. Yeah. Interesting. But it looks like the best circle up there, right? Yeah, I would say that. Overall, um, if you're just talking strictly hosel adjustments, like this is why, you know, Callaway is really good because mm -hmm. you can make, I mean, especially with the Max, being able to adjust the weighted system yep. in the back and have those adjustment pieces in the hosel. I mean, it's really good for golfers, but also fitters trying to make sure that golfers are in the right setting right. Uh, so they can hit more fairways. Right. I mean, this is, I mean, look at all the fairways that you hit today with uh you know we got yeah that's pretty good it's i mean look at you got five for five here with the this orange circle you got five for five with the yellow i mean depending on the size of the fairways when you can maybe get to a couple misses here or there with the other settings but um that's the nice thing about these drivers is you can in, in some ways get a you know a bunch of drivers in one when yeah. you make those adjustments you know depending on the housel that you're offered so with callaway you got kind of the the cog that works on loft and the cog that works on lie or at least the uh, you know, the neutral to, to draw. So a lot of options. We went through a few today, but I think the most important thing for golfers, like you said, is to come in, second swing, get fit, and then let our experts work with you to make sure that you know which setting is right for your swing and for your swing tendencies. So this is a good example of it and showing why the different settings can optimize your swing better than you even knew maybe that you could. So uh, Jackie, thanks for joining today, showing us um, the different settings. I think golfers really like this and Again, take note of the advantages of using the adjustable house on your driver. Yeah, thanks for having me.